Now, somebody told me they needed me to do a video on whether or not you could master slave a Pocket Pro with an NO Pocket Spot. Well, I'm here to tell you right now that nobody needs to watch that video. That's six minutes of your life you'll never get back. But what I can tell you is they do nothing meaningful in any kind of master slave configuration. The video that I think you need is to understand how different the NO Pocket Spot and the Pocket Pro really are. Before I get into any of that, just watch how both of these fixtures boot up. The first one I'm going to plug in is uh, the Inno Pocket Spot. Let's see what this thing does and how long it takes to do it. It's calibrating when it does that shake thing. There it goes again. Actually twisting with that calibration on the bench. <laughs> Unbelievable, look at that. There's nothing wrong with it, that's just what it does to calibrate. Okay, let's unplug it. Let me plug in the Pocket Pro and watch it boot up. And listen to it boot up. It's on. Before I get into how different these fixtures are, let's talk about how they're the same. They're both compact moving heads from ADJ. You can fit a pair of each one of these into an F4 PAR bag, and they both map out at $299. They're both IR remote compatible, and on most moving heads, you're limited to how you can mount them. You can either go right side up or upside down, but on both of these, you're pretty much limitless. You can even mount these vertically if you'd like. Aside from that, they're not even close to the same. You get a 12 watt LED with the NO Pocket Spot, or you get a 25 watt LED with the Pocket Pro. I do not have the lumens output information for you, but I can tell you that the Pocket Pro is brighter. Pocket Pro has the power card connection, where the NO Pocket Spot is still using the IEC. There's nothing wrong with the IEC, but the power con's a lot cooler. The Pocket Pro is actually more closely related to the Focus Spot series. In fact, you even have a manual focus right here on top. And you can do interchangeable gobos. You cannot do that on the Inno Pocket Spot. So you just twist this screw, the hood opens up, you can get in there and change out the gobos if you want to. And closing it up isn't a big deal either. It takes me a second one-handed, but basically she just locks in place and you're good to go so I hope that answers some of your questions if you have more let me know in the comments section thanks for watching practice and enjoy